Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is as always good to see you today. And I am taking a quick break at work because I saw this notification pop up on my phone and I'm like, shit, I got to get on this. And it took this like 10 minutes to appear in my actual YouTube on her videos. But I was able to get it downloaded and get my get my thumbnail from my notification so I could get on this shit. Um, apparently Wifey and Amberlynn broke up, so I'm probably not going to do much editing on this. We're just going to react, get it into Premiere, export, upload. We're going to try to get this shit out quick for y'all. So, um, yeah, let's, let's see what the hell happened. And hopefully nobody messages me for work. <laughs> As always, I will have her at 1.25 speed, so her actual speaking speed is going to be quite a bit slower. So I do always speed her up, and just in case you don't know. So she is looking pretty rough. She does not look good in this video whatsoever. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what she has to say. Hello. So I don't know if I'm going to regret this, but I don't know. It's like a little video diary. But, um... Feline and I have broken up. Um, it was mutual. Wow. Was I'm it? Freaking headphone thing, and it's it was mutual. And like I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday. Like I did have makeup. Like I have cried it all off completely. I just I can't stop crying. I feel like I'm mourning like a death. Like knowing that one day, like. I'm just gonna wake up and she's not there. It's um, it's a different different type of pain because like I envision my whole future with her, and I know she did the same. And this was mutual. Um, there has like I'm gonna speak for myself. There has been some things that just like I don't have to go into detail. Love just isn't enough sometimes. And I just, I know what I'm worth. And I know it might not be like a lot to some people, but I know like what I deserve and I know what I want. And I just need to be single. I literally have cried. Oh, my head hurts so bad. Sorry. I have done nothing but literally cry and cry and cry and cry for the last like 24 hours. This happened literally before fireworks last night i don't know what to say like oh wow i know there's probably gonna be a lot of people questioning and saying you seem so happy and yeah like the relationship i had with feline was literally the most passionate relationship i've ever been in but on both sides of the spectrum on both sides and i just <laughs> she's my best friend and it's like she wants to help me with this move i will be moving she will be moving. Um, we have a timeline of when that's going to be happening. And I just look around at everything. And it's like I look over in my kitchen and I'm like, that's the first place she kissed me. So just real quick, they were together about two years at this point. Almost two years. Um, the way that Amberlynn said that, I know what I'm worth and I know what I deserve, kind of a thing, whatever she just said there, would almost make it sound like she's not getting what she feels she needs from Wifey, or Feline, as she calls her. So, for this to be mutual, would there have been issues over the last few months? Because it's kind of weird just suddenly... Yeah, I think we should break up. Yeah, me too. Whenever they seemed so in love and so happy... And planning their future together. It just makes me wonder what's been kind of building. And if... We know that Feline was an active person. She wants, wanted to go hiking and go do things. We know that she was an athlete at university. If maybe Amberlynn's inability to stick to getting healthy and trying to get healthy and do those things. If Wifey feels like maybe she's being held back. And things that she wants to do in life. Um, 
And then, but you know, on the other side, Amber Lynn's like, oh, this, this, she's the most supportive partner I've ever been with. She's so supportive. But yet we have ordering McDonald's. We have all these things that we've seen. And it's like, how is she actually supporting you in this? So I'm just wondering here. I mean, no relationship is perfect. So for them to decide to part ways is a little surprising, considering the way that Amber Lynn has portrayed things. But then there's also probably a bad memory in that same spot. You know, it's like not everything is perfect behind the scenes. Honestly, it doesn't even matter why we broke up. Um, it's personal. And sure, we both, you know, again, she doesn't have to tell us exactly why they broke up. That is their business. But people are going to speculate like I just did. <laughs> have our own reasons, but she's she's my other half of my heart. And I'm the other half of hers. So why are you breaking up? I know she just said sometimes love isn't enough. So what are you not getting from each other that would make it where love isn't enough? But we can't be in a relationship. I just don't even know what to say. Like, I just got off the phone with my mom and talk to her because I just needed someone I needed I just needed someone that isn't her you know because Feline is my best friend and I'm her best friend and it's like it's kind of hard to cry to the person that you're losing <laughs> even though Feline and I both have been crying literally all day I have never ever 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 seen her cry this much and even just calling her Feline is so hard because Bambi and Feline like it's not a thing anymore I also think, like, I'm partially in shock. I don't know. It's like, how do I go on? I, I literally just feel like, like, something I've always... Mm, that's not good wording to hear. ...experienced is, like, when I experience heartbreak, I feel it physically. Like, it physically feels like I've lost, like, a limb or... I, I I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it feels like. Well, we ever saw of wifey were limbs. I was hit by a truck a million times over, just repeatedly over and over and over. Like, I just feel like I can't live without her, but I know that I have to because it's just. Like, I, just, I know, I know what I deserve. So again, I know what I deserve. What is it that you deserve? What were you not getting? What what was missing in this relationship? Even though sometimes I, like, I act like I hate myself. Like, I act like it. There's a part of me that cares. And I care about Feline as well. It's like, she deserves the fucking world. And it's like, I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> I could only give her because you haven't taken care of yourself. A part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. <laughs> am I breaking up? You know, I kind of am. I kind of am. I just, I don't want to like shower. I don't want to like, I don't want to do anything. I kind of just want to like eat. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. I just want to turn to food. I want to numb it out. I. This would be a good time to talk to your therapist. I'm just lost. Because like I said, I don't know who I am. Right. I was thinking about that. I, I didn't include this in her Q&A, but there was somebody asked like what a favorite thing of hers was or something or finding herself. And she was like, I don't really know who I am. And as I was editing and I was cutting that out, I had the thought as I was editing that, that of course she doesn't know who she is. She hasn't ever taken time to be by herself long enough to know who she is without somebody else in her life without being in a relationship she only knows who she is in a relationship so to be like I don't know my favorite color why why do you not know your favorite color I mean could it be because it changes you have different colors favorite colors for different things or is it because you take on traits of the person you're with in a relationship um so I mean she knows she likes Legos you know she knows some things that she enjoys doing 
But knowing like who she is and what kind of a person she is, I don't think she really knows that. I'm just ready to be single and I'm going to be like, she needs to be single for a little while you know, on my own. And I don't want to say where, I don't want to say when, but as much as YouTube has like drastically fucked with me in my life, it has also been one of the most amazing things that I am so grateful for. And it's like, well, it's how you earn your income. I mean, yeah. Like, for me, talking, just talking and talking and talking is so therapeutic and it helps me understand myself. I know a lot of people aren't like that. They're not an open book. Um, but YouTube has been there for me for a decade and it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. But on the other hand, you also said that it affects your mental health because of the way people respond to you and the way people do things. So you do have some negative and some positives with YouTube that you've experienced. And as people have said, you need to just try to focus on the positive, which hopefully, she, hopefully she's trying to do here. So I want to document, you know, everything to the best of my ability. Um, obviously, I'm not going to share everything, the real personal stuff, because why we broke up, it doesn't matter. It happened, though. And I just I have to move on. I have to move forward. And so does she. And it just feels... It feels like a nightmare. It feels like an absolute nightmare. But I know that it has to happen. And I have to keep reminding myself of that. That it has to happen. And I have to keep a healthy distance from her. Because like... You don't have two bedrooms anymore. One of the bedrooms became an office. So are you still going to be sleeping in the same bed still? Is wifey going to go sleep on the couch? She's still trying to hug me and stuff like that. And I have to tell her, like, I can't. I can't. Like, it hurts too bad. And in the past, like, I, I didn't want my ex to not sleep in the bed with me. But I don't want her in the bed with me. And I slept without her last night. And it was horrible. I have very, very, very bad abandonment issues. Like, this is due to, like, childhood shit. Like, I have been abandoned. I'm not surprised. You know, I was abandoned during the time of your life when you shouldn't be. So I have a lot of, like, fears that are irrational, but also very rational. I hate sleeping alone. I hate it more than anything. But I know that I have to... Again, sounds like more things to work on with your therapist. Hatch myself from certain things. And I have to be strong. I have to do this. It's freaking hard. It's terrifying. The unknown... Everything that I have to do, all the I's I have to dot, all the T's I have to cross just to get mm -hmm. to my destination. And I mean that like physically, but also figuratively, metaphorically, whatever it may be. It's just there's so much. And I don't know. I just feel really freaking lost right now. And I need a shoulder. I need Unfortunately, anybody that she was close to have pretty much been pushed away. She she has much as she has some friends here. Uh, maybe one of those friends can come over. But if it's a mutual friend or something, I mean, that's going to be a little awkward. Hmm. Shoulder to cry on. But I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody here. Kentucky's not for me. It never has been for me. I came here for somebody, stayed here for somebody. And then was stuck here with somebody. All three different people. And... Now I get to be free. And that's, uh, that's wild. That's wild. I don't know, you guys. I'll keep you updated, but that's kind of all I have for now. I'm gonna go cry in a pillow or something. All right. Well, that was kind of an abrupt ending. Um, you know, I'm... I feel bad for her. I mean, obviously she's hurting. You know, it seemed that she and she and wifey really loved each other. Um, Amberlyn was happy with wifey. So, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe she'll tell us more in the future. I don't know. But I do think Amberlyn would be better off taking some time for herself for a bit. Um, 
isn't her lease up in this apartment in like September or something if I remember correctly so they do have some time to look around and figure out what they want to do to separate fully divide up their stuff all that stuff they've bought together um wife you can take her 20,000 pairs of Jordans of Nikes um and Amberlynn can take her Legos and the fur babies so yeah really interesting I was not expecting this today, to be honest, but um, yeah, crazy. I, I'm, I'm going to get this put into Premiere. We're going to get exported, uploaded. Uh, I have about another hour of work left. So while I'm working, it'll be doing all that. So, well, let me know what you all think below. And until next time, be safe and take care.